been in this area all my life. This is a different property that we've purchased. Used to live on Fox Island, which is 12 k's away. Uh, ended up selling to a neighbour and purchasing this area, 50 acres here, 20 hectares. Just a bare paddock when we first moved here 14 years ago and why would you want to move away from the creek? It's beautiful. Love it. Uh, we decided to go solar because our power bills were just getting out of control. Um, we don't use that much power in the house. We have got a pre-phase workshop, which we do a bit of fabricating and a bit of engineering out of it, but trying to cut down on our power use, really just because of the price of it. We ended up putting a pool in for the grandkids, which use a fair bit of power, and we checked out a few companies. A couple of them come around and checked out what we wanted and where we wanted to go with the solar. Originally, we were going to mount them on a shed. One of the companies come out and spent a bit of time with us and checked it right out, checked the size of the power leads running back from the meter to the house to the sheds, and they worked out that they couldn't supply the power back to the meters. So Vinny contacted us at Solar Gain back at the start of 2020. We booked him in to come out and go through all the pros and cons of going solar. He had a fair few sheds and options that he was looking at, possibly from what he had seen, friends and family put solar on. Uh, we had Bryn come out. He was checking out from the transformer to the meter box, from the meter box back to the house, then from the house to the shed, and we were checking out the sizes of the cable underground. And he worked out that it wouldn't be able to supply the power back to the meter. So this is why we went the ground mount, and I'm really happy with it, really love it. On this project, we've decided to use the Solar Terrace 2, which is a really good, rigid, rate solution for ground mount, and the support that we've got from Clean Energy all throughout the whole process of installing this one, as far as engineering, design, tech support, know-how, setup, degrees, is just next level. Clean Energy has just been fantastic with helping out on that, and they've got the best engineering that we can find in Australia that we've come across, and that's why I've always been super happy to use Clean Energy. Vinny came to me with 12 months of power bills and I had a really good look at all through those and all these loads that are here on site, everything that he uses for irrigation. We've come up with a 20 kilowatt solar system to supply the demand um, at his peak loads um, and that's going to provide excess as well, which in the future once he converts the farm to off-grid, it'll um, be enough um, PV to supply those batteries and charge them and be able to run in full off-grid mode. We chose the pump shed to install the Fronia Simo inverter purely because it's right next to the array. We've got the metering right here as well and we've got all the pumps and the supply to the house. So it just turned out a really good location for it. It's inside, it's out of the weather, it's going to prolong its life even more. The way they've been engineered, you just can do so many different things with them. They've got really, really good monitoring that's a very, very good app for the customer to be able to um, look at um, and understand exactly what's going on. We're finding that, you know, we've nearly got customers saving a further 20% just because they can read that up quite well. Um, and Peronius have just absolutely nailed that um, from a consumer point of view. You've got to save money somewhere and it was the best way I could see. Like, I could really see our power bills getting out of control and we had to rein them back somehow and that was the best way we could think of. So we chose Jinko solar panels to use on this project purely because of the support that we get, the design, the knowledge, the know-how, the updates, long warranties. With the return on investment for the customer, he's looking at four year payback period with a panel that's a performance warranty of 25 years. So it's gonna pay for itself and last a very long time. With the cell technology and the outputs that we're getting, out of these panels have been really good and we're really happy with that and this return on investment is above what our estimate was which is great and we want to see that. So the reason why we uh, chose ground mount over a roof mount here for this property because it's rural. You've got so much land, room, you can add on, it's a unique power system, it's totally separate to the house. Yes it's a little bit more expensive but all of a sudden you've got a full structure and your own power plant. And I feel this is the way as Australia we need to be moving. And if you ever have any problems with your house, you want to put a new roof on, you haven't got the solar panels in the way. So two years ago, we came out to the McGuinnesses and we saw them having power bills of over $6,000. So we've installed a 20 kilowatt solar system here and now we're seeing $1,600 power bills. Um, the saving of the four to five grand, it's, it's really big. Like 
times are getting tough, fuel's going up, everything's costing us a fortune these days, fertiliser, and yeah, it just pays a lot of bills and we're getting away with it that way. My wife does all the bookwork and does all that, but yeah, I get the side effects from her. <laughs> <laughs>